So one of the most surprising things that I encountered when I first moved to Tbilisi was the fact that I had no mailbox. I moved into this nice apartment building and I just assumed when I'd like when I lived in Japan, lived in the States, there would be a downstairs area where I would have a mailbox with my name on it. And that's where I would receive my mail. Not the case. There are no mailboxes here. I actually can't get mail sent to my house. If someone was to send something from overseas, from what I understand, it would go to the central post office and somehow they would notify me and then I'd have to go and pick it up. On the positive side, I received no junk mail, no flyers, no paper copy bills. Everything is done online. So it's very efficient, but then you have the issue and the problem, how do you get mail? Most of the things that I order come from Amazon and I use a company called USA to Georgia. USA to Georgia gives me an address in the States. My packages go there. They then put them on a plane to Georgia. Then I go to one of their hub locations and pick up my package. Hey Lee. I'm about to mail you this package. Today I just got a notification that it has arrived and now I'm about to go pick it up. Let's see how this goes. The USA to Georgia harbors like 200 yards from uh, my apartment. Amy, thank you for the beautiful artwork and the book. I'm really looking forward to reading this. Thank you so much. It's hard to believe that it's almost been three years since my path first crossed with Amy. I was taking the Amtrak Starlight from Seattle back to LA after my Arctic expedition and here we are three years later, uh, still in contact, still friends. I now live abroad and my first official piece of foreign personal mail came from Amy.